sana kwa sana album reviews karibu sana na tumaiko salama ni african na leo ni day 2 ya hizi album reviews nimekuwa nikifanya na thank you for being here the idea ni an album a day for each day of february leo ni 2nd february siku ya pili na it is 3:42 am na naifanya in conjunction na an exercise called mwe which is stand for music writers music writer exercise started by an american journalist and it was gary shores this is the 6th year i make kiran na niligundua in 2019 hii ni my third year doing it so the challenge ni kando na kufanya the tweet reviews which is what the concept is about i also come on here na nifanye my first listen album reviews of these projects zenye nitakuwa na andika about later in the day as my tweet reviews for the music writer exercise na leo ni siku ya pili kama uje na day one, please go to that video check it alafu kuja kwa this second one na ni follow through hi journey i'm releasing these videos in march so kwako ni march 2nd as you are watching this the album naangalia on my first listen ni dreams in stereo ya eric oinaina ilikuwa ni kize last year for MWE alafu since kwa nimesikiza Love and Protest ya 2011 nikasema acha nisikize hiyo kwanza before nisikize Dreams in Stereo because napenda ku delve into catalogs na discography za wasanii nikienda in a chronological manner so nikasema acha nisikize hiyo because nilikuwa nimesikiza the other two way way back sawa sawa na 2020 so i got to that last year love and protest i love the sea and osani me come to dreams in stereo amazing 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 project ni mwanza kuisikia a few moments ago beautiful project it's an amazing musical journey yenye hautaki iishe na haunge mind kama inge kuwa extended longer because that's how amazing the music sounds that's how amazing isa farin eric oinaina to peleka is just also to mention beautiful artwork where unaona ni kama we have a toso image eric oinaina alafu we can see his face kidogo and the other imefanywa artistically lots of intricate patterns that we are seeing amazing choices of color then is in a blending really well with the green green blue background and then with you nani know, kama kuna waves kwa the cover art just is all is all idea, idea yeah frequency na idea ya stereo which he refers to twice in the album he does that kwa hold me down alafu but the, the reference there is now we are breaking up na lazima tujue who is going with what na anaenda na item gani alafu anafanya the same thing kwa kwa found me a lover akiongelea uyu uyu dem mwenye hudoz akiona telly and then dreams like is in stereo so hizo ndo the references zenye ana mention stereo kwa the project yeye ni kuangalia the art na the an amazing work by ngene elias ship go to alipas the project in itself ni it's a pop record by Eric Oinaina ukiangalia the choice of sound ukiangalia the choice of diction na ukiangalia the choice of language yenye na choose to go for for a project you can tell that alikuwa na go for an international appeal alikuwa ana target international markets with this project to be specific because it got different from the, his preceding three albums iko na tones za dance na soul pia iko na tones za benga na some zilizopendwa vibe to it kwa a number of tracks so you have that and then as far as his thematic concerns tunaweza sema it's a record in your premised on love we, we can we can term it as that we can call it what he chooses to talk about in this album aside from tracks uh, tracks kama hallelujah people tracks kama don't bury me nyeko na john zenze kendi konge na blinky alafu track kama brand new day nyena malizia is one of the tracks that you know zina focus on just life and people kando na yale maudhui ya mapenzi na relationships mahusiano zenye Eric anaangazia kwa hii project largely 
a record that discusses love largely a record yenye inazungumzia relationships romantic relationships all through the project vitu kama okay where it starts na this perspective na this situation where anasema despite the despite the the melancholic aspect ya ku kuwa na con, contentions between two people i am still going to be okay it will still be okay and that goes to hold me down as well challenges are relationships and now that we have to part ways i'm looking at you and i can see you're lying to me and you connect your references then he goes into different kind of direction with hallelujah people now don't bury me and then that same idea ku focus on other things as people in life in a kuja back a brand new day which in amaliza the project on a high note on a pers- on an optimistic note on a people centered kind of energy which is that same energy in your nanza at the beginning with vitu kama okay akisema despite haya mabaya yenye napitia na haya machungu ambayo na face at the end of the day bado tunatarajia brand new day na itakuwa a brand new day so you have that kind of cementing idea ya he project so kuna that tone na that atmosphere kupitia mziki wake kupitia maneno yake through the entire project his diction na his songwriting is still as potent as ever if anything na feel ni kama na get better alafu wewe nimesema ukiangalia choice ya language na choice ya sound alikuwa ana target an international market which nahisi kwa kipande kikubwa kili influence ile choice of language ile gonae which ni ni kiingereza kwa kwa hii album kando na vitu kama don't bury me songs kama don't bury me yenye iko na kina John Zenze na kuna hiyo kistachi ya Swahili and the that feeling ya ku blend in different generations zawasani cuz John Zenze coming from the older generation then yeye yeah, na blink alafu kuna candy lakini ndio kunazungumzia ile lugha yenye imetumika katika wimbo huo ukiangalia project nzima me focus on kiingereza sana na the sound since it's a pop album na hizo with those different other sounds and then imetaja hapo awali kama the, the soul and the dance and some touch of blues and R&B definitely pop R&B record kuna your choice ya english and you in a target a different and an international market okay kianza my experience imekuwa ilikuwa ilikuwa too loud the instrumentation was too loud and i've had that same feeling i think even kwa hold me down slightly but imekuwa na that same feeling kwa the last song which ni brand new day ikiisha ime imekuwa ime come to the first song but by that kwa brand new day see as loud as okay is ukizisikiza so unapata ni kama sauti sauti yake especially when the the chorus comes in and you have this segment and you full instrumentation seems louder than his 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 voice and also just to mention tracks kama okay tracks kama hold me down don't bury me alafu fly away together is in ngoma zilikuwa tayari zimetoka previously before the release of of the song if i can remember correctly because in kazi ya 2018 but kuna some songs i think zilikuwa zimetoka before a release the work officially but i could be wrong on that kuna hizi love stories that are different hakuna a specific hakuna a specific stream of consciousness that leads us from start to end na ukiangalia albums za Eric even do zeukuwa actually ukona ukona songs that just fit into his overarching theme na overarching idea lakini si specifically from start to end at this song leads to this and then this leads to this cuz ukiangalia ngoma kama hallelujah people na don't bury me of course i think hallelujah people na don't bury me in a fit well but so ukiangalia where we were coming from from hold me down and then kuna fly away together these are two love songs and focusing on love then the hallelujah people that don't bury me going in between has he focus on that and then now you go into this segment where kuna fly away together all the way back a long time coming and actually impossible which is back to the sadness na the melancholy 
of the album zina focus on love na relationships na meeting this person and talking about love and haya mahusiano ambayo ako nayo with this other person so you have is a songs zinzikuwa hapo katikati then it comes back to that so from don't bury me an energetic song and then anaenda kwa fly away together slightly chilled um toned down highly focused on keys which ni huge kwa the entire project keys but the album has such amazing fullness in terms of the instrumentation alafu pia in terms of the vocalization ya Eric individually alafu kuna this choral aspect of the album yenye ni so amazing na ina add to the fullness of the sound na to the fullness of the instrumentation but mostly to the fullness of the voice na the fullness of the singing yenye una experience ukisikia hii album so that is done very beautifully it is such a colorful album that it merged well with the vocal aspect too and also the instrumentation aspect na feel zime zime merge vizuri kando na beat ya brand new day i am i am unsure about the instrumental of that song I think I am still warming up to it with my subsequent listens and I decide but you don't feel kidogo kwa instrumentation siko certain about but the rest nilikuwa nasema hiyo segment ya from fly away together stripped down to the keys and his voice but now from now that's a fire nilifika hapo <laughs> I lost it nili cheesy that that song that so the instrumentation alafu iko na iko na hiyo isa hiyo ngoma nilikuwa nasema where we are seeing his tones za kitu kama soul and that old school R&B na this dance and funk energy amazing and then now he carries that energy kwa want you want you and goes kwa found me a lover talk about you alafu kuna eventually long time coming and kama the climax of this mid segment mid section ya the album because it's fast paced fast paced and a build upon the previous energy yenye tumekuwa in from the from the preceding songs yenye ziko hapo so does that amazingly napenda that segment it's highly danceable highly energetic so colorful and bubbly and an amazing segment of the album which just builds upon the idea na ina tie into Kenya Eric anazungumzia katika he kanda kwa want you want you kuna this guitar git, kuna this guitar solo somewhere karibu na the end which just brings in that benga na zilizopendwa vibe nilikuwa na mention earlier and then anafanya the same thing co-found me a lover with the guitar line in the song still giving you the same energy na peneo segment and an amazing an amazing album ni menjoy kuisikiza na vinyo nilikuwa nasema earlier singependa hiyo Jani Aisha ni kwa tika yendele how he changes the mood through the entire album I kid said kwa fast paced songs pamoja but teasing that with don't bury me na hallelujah people and then ukona this slowed down songs kama hold me down which na feel ni kama hiyo ni kama ngome yenye tungesikia from for example how he sings the chorus and how he writes it na ngoma kama okay zimetulia and then uko na impossible coming towards the end of the album before ngoma ya mwisho so kuna vinya me paste the album with, with these highs and lows in terms of the sound in terms of the pace of the songs na in terms of maudhui anazungumzia generally they may enjoy project sana na um, like all other Eric Wenaina's albums nimezifuraya sana kusikia napenda how ye uandika songwriting yake uandishi wake kuwa amazing sana na napenda the instrumentation and I, i cannot wait to listen to the album again before niandike my final tweet review kwa mwe on twitter so asante sana for watching this kama umefika this far kwa hii video feel free kuangalia other album reviews feel free kuniambia what you think about this album in toka 2018 kama umeisikiza au hujaisikiza give it a listen Alafu come back na uniambie what you think kuhusu the album. Asante sana kwa kuwatch day two of his album reviews.